Pepper Souter here. I'm going to show you how to control a computer using Team Viewer. Remember, this is not for hacking purpose. First thing you need to do is download the file below the video in the information description area. Click on the Rapid Share link and you're going to see free users once you're at the website. Click on Free Users and you're going to see the number countdown. The number countdown will finish and will ask you to download. In an explorer, users are able to save it in a specific area in the computer. It could be documents, uh, desktop, uh, anywhere they they like to have it downloaded. Firefox users, some are able to download it to wherever they want to download it because they have changed the options and the properties of Firefox. But normal downloads for Windows Vista and 7 are usually in the download folder. For XP users it's desktop or my documents. Once your uh, file has finished uh, downloading you want to go ahead and double click or single click on it. You want to click run. You can either run it from your computer or you can install it. If you want to install it click next you're going to see the user account control box for Vista and Windows 7 users. XP, you will not see this. You want to click personal, non commercial use. You want to accept the terms and the agreements for your Team Viewer. If you want to start your computer, or if you want to start the computer that you're trying to control, with the pass or a custom password you want to go ahead and click start automatically with Windows and you're going to tap in your password but if not the team viewer will automatically uh, choose a password for you the password will not be the same it will always be different you want to go ahead and click next if you want to do a full access go ahead you will be able to gain your partner's full access to a PC when connected or if you want to confirm it all you want to go ahead and click next again finished. Now sometimes Steam Bureau will launch if you have the option enabled uh, start with Windows. As you can see here it will say waiting for session. If you want someone to control your computer you're gonna give them the user ID exactly the way it says or the password. Like I said before if you're gonna do a custom password it be the password that you have chosen or you can use the password that they give you and if you want to control someone else's computer they're gonna to have to give you their ID number and password that's it if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment uh, questions PM me via YouTube email or leave a comment uh, this is Epperciato and thanks for watching